all three of them demonstrating bravery and composure while enduring a deadly rampage. We can never fully thank you for your service or for your sacrifice, but today is an important day for the nation to give thanks for all that you do for everybody, for all of us. Because of COVID-19, we couldn't have this special ceremony for the past two years, but I'm honored that we finally can today honor 15, 15 public safety, safety officers from eight different departments with the Medal of Valor, the highest award a president can bestow on a public safety officer. The honorees, I, uh, I don't know all of you personally, but I do know you. Growing up, uh, you're the ones who, when we're outnumbered three to one, you jumped in. No, you did. I, uh, <laughs> I grew up in a neighborhood you either became a cop, a firefighter, or a priest. I wasn't qualified for any of them, so here I am. <laughs> but, uh, you, you know, and you jumped in to help the one. Not a joke. Think about if you and your parents could attest to it. You're the heart and soul and the very spine, the very spine of this country and your communities. Each one of you, from small town departments to big cities, you're cut from the same cloth. You possess a selflessness that's really hard to explain, a rare commitment to your neighbors and your fellow Americans, an unusual bravery that inspires everyone. And, and you've been singled out because of your extraordinary heroism. 